everyone. Welcome back to Never Alone Homestead. My name is Cammie and welcome back to my garden. Well guys, yesterday I planted some potatoes there, over here, and some potatoes right here. And they were, I actually had cut them and they had healed up to where I cut them at because of the starch. And then this morning I woke up and I thought, you know, I got a lot of potatoes and I was going to plant some on the other side. It's not to say that I won't, but I decided this morning to plant some whole potatoes. Now, I've never planted whole potatoes ever since I can remember. My grandmother, my mother cut them, uh, leaving about two or three eyes on them. And uh, so I had some potatoes, and I got up this morning, and I was like, you know, I'm just going to plant those whole. Now, that is a lot of potatoes sitting into that row right there. But, and I'm going to plant some more right here. But, you know... I'm expecting a big harvest, and I am doing something new this year. Can you plant a garden without a tractor? Well, I got up this morning, and I took the little tiller, and uh, I till just kind of went through this right here. And a tiller doesn't really uh, get deep, but it does till up the ground a little bit, especially if it's already been if it's been plowed by a tractor. It does excellent. Just by itself, it's, it's okay. So I decided that, you know, since I had been walking on this right here yesterday, trying to plant these uh, two rows right here, I decided to take the tiller and go through it. Now, I am fixing to finish this row up right here and show you that you can have potatoes without a tractor. So this is what I did. Now, one of the things that helped me out with this is taking my hoe and sharpening it up. So I took the file and sharpened it up, and that helped a lot with this dirt that's a little bit hard, but it's also moist because of all the rain that we've had. So now, down there, I had already laid some fertilizer. I had some fertilizer I had gotten, some nitrogen I had actually gotten from uh, Lowe's, and they had it like the big bags for like eight bucks. This fertilizer was usually $35 a bag, and uh, then they also had fertilizer, 888, for $5 a bag, a big bag. So I bought all they had. So what I did is I went down this road and I just poured some fer fertilizer, I mean, excuse me, some nitrogen down first. I sprinkled it down real good, and then I took some 888, and I went down the same row. And then I laid the whole potatoes with their eyes up as much as possible, because these potatoes had a lot of eyes on them. So the best eyes I took, and I laid uh, them in the ground with the eyes coming up, you know, you know the, the best eyes coming up. So now what I'm going to do is take some nitrogen and uh, sprinkle it in here. Then I'm going to go back with 888 and then I'm going to lay my potatoes. Now, 
I will go. I got. I can see. I can fit maybe uh, two or three potatoes in this little section right here uh, that I don't have. But I am planting these really close this year because I did it further out. You know, you don't know exactly how your potatoes going to grow because that lot that really does depend a lot upon the weather. But um, and the time that you harvest them. So I'm planting these together. They say that if you plant them close together, you'll get smaller potatoes. But since I have a lot of potatoes, I can't I can't lose. And uh, you know, and who's to say with all the nitrogen and the fertilizer and if the weather holds out good here because we had so much rain, then I think they'll do pretty good. So now what I do is I just take my hoe and put the dirt back over the potatoes. And so now I will continue on until I cover this row up. Also, another thing I did, and these rows are really close, so this is a new experience for me. I mean, I did have them three feet. Um, there's, a, there's a three feet distance between one row and to the other row. And I got up this morning, so I was going to plant one right down the middle. If I can get enough walking space to keep the weeds out and just to walk through them, I think I'll be okay. So now I'm just going to, like I said, I'm just going to cover this, them up. I put a marker at here and over here and down at the end so I will know where these rows are at so I can kind of, you know, watch them a little bit. And uh, plus with all the rain, it's kind of packing down the, the ground. This is going to help me out a little bit. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And uh, give me a thumbs up on this video. And remember to make it a great day. God is good all the time nothing that we go through is we cannot say that it might not feel good it might not sound good and all that but nevertheless god is good and there's a purpose and there's a reason and everything has a timing there's a time to cry there's a time to mourn there's a time to die to die there's a time to plant there's a timing for everything so guys thank you so much Please subscribe and hit that bell so you'll know when I'm loading up the next video. Make it a great day. Have a happy, happy season into your planning season. Okay, guys, I decided to come back here and add to this video while I was getting the dirt over these potatoes. As you can see, the dirt is over the potatoes. Still haven't put these few potatoes down here. But this is what I used. This is new ground here. This section right here is new ground. And this tiller is what I use. Now, I have to say, you can have a garden without a tractor. It is some work. You would definitely end up with probably a six-pack, they say, you know, some abs, but, well, with that and hoeing the dirt back over your potatoes, it depends on your soil, you know, right now the soil right here is really moist, and um, so it, the dirt is more heavier, and it makes it a little bit harder, but on the other ground with the tiller is that it makes, because it's moist, it makes it easier, if I can say it like that, than going into, you know, uh, easier going into the ground. So, uh, as far as digging, digging up. So, uh, guys, I just want to I'll point that out that you can have a garden by a tiller. It is a, some work. It's a, a lot harder than it is with um, you just getting on the tractor and, and driving through and plowing up and then having other attachments to, to kind of do the work for you. But it is durable. You can do it. We have to think about what did our forefathers do. They had my grandfather had a mule and 
uh, you know, he had the, the harness and everything to use the, the mule to plow his garden. And, uh, but also, you know, it was the hoe that was after that. You know, he had to, they, my grandma would get out there with the hoe and stuff and start making the rows. Now, I have made so many rows like this that I know that it's possible that you don't have to have a tractor if you really wanted a garden. Some people can't afford a tractor. They can, there's a lot of reasons why we can't do what we can, can't do. But there, if we put our mind to things, we can do what we can do. So if you decide you want, want to try gardening, you know, it's just a matter of putting your hand to the plow and not looking back. It's a matter of making that decision. And, you know, through your failures, don't quit on your failures, but make a decision that you just learn through the failures. Um, gardening is, a, is, is learning. You know, it's like some people say they can't have um, plants, like house plants. They kill every one. But they just got to learn what they're doing wrong. Are, are they overwatering? Are they underwatering? Are they over fertilizing? You know, it's, it's just a learning process. This year, I put more fertilizer to these potatoes than I normally do. But it is a learning process. Doing it this way is a learning process. Can I have these potatoes so close together? That they will grow efficiently. Can I get in this garden? Can I get in a spot to keep the weeds out? How well will they do being uh, uh, planted close together? And how well they do if they're bigger potatoes with more eyes on them? How well will they do? Well, we don't know until we put our hands to the plow. Thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful day.